finished. It's been six months since a devastating earthquake hit southern Turkey and northern Syria, leaving over 50,000 dead and one and a half million people homeless. Turkey's President Erdogan has vowed to build hundreds of thousands of new homes for those in need. But months later, many are still living in tents and other temporary accommodation. In Syria, the relief effort has been obstructed by the ongoing war, with the quake striking some of the country's most vulnerable conflict-ridden areas. When I spoke to Zuhe Sakut from the International Committee of the Red Cross in Syria about the current situation in quake-affected areas. In Syria as, as a whole, the situation has been impacted by more than 12 years, or we are entering the 13th years of conflict. But, but the earthquake six months a day on this day, uh, last February, has shattered the resilience of the population of the most hit areas like Aleppo, Latakia, uh, and uh, Tartus. Uh, these were the most impacted uh, areas. And it was not only the conflict, the economic situation, Situation, uh, the uh, access, limited access to water, limited access to electricity before even the earthquake. The earthquake makes this harder on the population, and as they are overstretched, the communities are overstretched, the infrastructure is overstretched. So the locals, six months on, it still face e enormous challenges. Is, is the cleanup happening fast enough, happening safely enough? Well, the, the population, as you correctly said, facing enormous, enormous pressure. Um, at the beginning of the earthquake, it was the freezing temperatures, for example. And now they are facing, in addition to losing homes, loved ones, uh, they are facing the heat wave. Temperature has been uh, rising uh, significantly, especially the last week. And we have seen last month the fire that erupted in Latakia and other places in the northern part of the country. Uh, so conflict, earthquake climate change, uh, and then now the heat wave with limited uh, access to electricity. In Aleppo, for example, people are telling me that they receive only two hours of electricity. Um, we've, we've meeting uh, mothers who cannot uh, take care of the daily routine needs of, of her family due to limited access to water, but also limited access to electricity in this area, but also across the country, as I mentioned. There are lots of initiatives in place, and there's lots more work to be done, including risk assessments. So what do you think is needed now, especially and when it comes to support for children, when it comes to support for, for women um, in the longer term? Yep, trauma is one of the concerns of the ICRC. Uh, it's according to WHO, one uh, in five people in conflict zones, uh, living in conflict zones, uh, suffer from one uh, uh, side or, or impact of the uh, AMAT, uh, mental health uh, impact. So what is needed now? It is needed that life aid, uh, humanitarian aid, is a life lifeline for Syrians the whole Syrians, not only the uh, impacted areas with the earthquake. So uh, what the ICRC is calling was to depoliticize the humanitarian aid and to allow unembedded access to the most impacted population and communities across the country to be able to help those.